The next leg of the journey could not be completed until Robert Wise recruited the right composer, Academy Award winner Jerry Goldsmith. When we got to doing the score, and Jerry Goldsmith, who had done a marvelous score for me on Sand Pebbles, was going to do the score. Well, it's so exciting you, know, you hear music coming alive with an orchestra, a big orchestra on a scoring stage, and everybody gets thrilled and excited and all that. And Bob was mildly, and he smiled. And I listened to the first couple of pieces, and uh, it, it didn't seem quite right to me. It seemed like I got visions of sailing ships somehow. The scene of the flying up to the Enterprise was a big, bombastic piece, and it was, we all thought it was so wonderful. And to finish the sessions, and I'm patting myself on the back, and everybody's patting, it's great and all that. And Bob grabbed me, pulled me out in the hallway, we walked down the hall, I said, well, what do you think? And uh, I could never lie to Bob. I couldn't get away with it even if I wanted to. I mean, it's just, it's impossible. So I said, well, I, you know, I said, I think it sounds like, you know, sailing ships. And he says, well, I think it sounds like kind of stoker wagons. What do we do? And he couldn't really articulate what was bothering him. He instinctually knew what was bothering him, but he couldn't say what was bothering him. So I said, we gotta do that all over again. And so I was crushed. Th those were pretty frightening moments. Those are the type of moments where we, if you were gonna have to start having a breakdown, that's when you were gonna start doing it. I said, well, what's bothering you? And he finally said, there's no theme. And I started thinking, theme? Oh, it was a love theme. I'd written a love theme. That was, but I mean, there was no Star Trek theme. And I said, oh. Yeah, when we, we took a little break and Jerry went away and, and while we were doing some more work on the, on the film and whatnot, and then he came back uh, with his, uh, with his uh, revised score. He'd come over to the house and he had a bad day of the special effects. And he says, I've had a really bad day today. He says, nothing's working right. I hope you got good news for me. So I remember the head of the music department at Fox, at Paramount was there then. And we had rehearsed this and we, I had two pianos in the living room and we, we played it for him in the two pianos. He says, that's it. It was like, why didn't you come up with that in the first place?